Good evening to all of you. Welcome back. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm excellent. And you? Very good, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Everything okay? Ready this night. Ready to start. Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello, Christina. How are you? Everything fine? Everything okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay, let me see you. I have nine. Welcome, Rafael. Thank you, teacher. We have uh, Giovanni, Harrison, Linda, Karina, Norma Carolina. Is there two? Welcome to all of you.
Okay, we are almost ready. Let me see how many do we have now. Okay. Remember that we are going to continue with the, the material that we are using. I hope that all of you have it. Okay, let us start now. We are going to start with two questions. I'm going to share with you in order that you can tell me what do you think about it. Okay, the first question says, where do trainings take place in your company? And I'm going to read it and later on I'm going to check out the attendance. Se les voy a leer primero las preguntas para que se queden pensando en lo que les paso listo. And the second, who are the eligible, eligible people to get training at your workplace? Okay, I'm going to take a look at the attendance.
Ana Cristina. Ana. Ana, you coming? Present teacher. Angel Narciso. Present. Cristina. Present teacher. Fatima, you coming? Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Harrison Manuel. Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. And Sulaim. Okay, now you are going to, to tell me what do you think about the two questions? I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you can think your answer. Tendrán dos minutos para pensar su respuesta. Remember, you had two minutes. Okay, if you already uh, have your answer, if you want to share it, just do it now, please. And don't forget that you need to turn on your cameras. Tengo la mayoría con cámaras apagadas. Sabemos que es parte de las instrucciones dadas. Okay, who wants to tell me the answer to the first question?
I'm talking about the the first the first question. Hello. Teacher. Tell me. In my company, there are received the in the conference room. Oh, in the, in the conference rooms. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Somebody else. Me, teacher. Tell me. The training takes place in auditorium located inside the company building. Oh, okay. Who else? Teacher, in, in my company, in the big room of the office. Okay. Somebody else? What about the second? The second question, what can you tell me about the second question? Who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace? In my company, it assists all all of the area. All of the areas, okay. All the personnel of the area. Do you remember when we study uh, personnel and personnel? Yes, oh, okay. Okay, somebody else, tell me. Hello, hello. Okay, let us continue then if you don't want to participate. So, well, I consider, and I think that all depend on the company. Sometimes you can receive the training design company. And another, uh, maybe you need to move to a different place like a hotel or a hall. All depend. Okay, we are going to read this conversation and then you are going to have the opportunity to practice with somebody else. Mrs. Lewis and Eric. Okay, I'm going to read it. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. 
I am just fine. Thanks for asking. Welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. Your speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topics he talks about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was on minutes late and we left very late. Okay, I invite you to read it. And then I'm going to read it again. Me, teacher. Do you want to read? My prince, yes, teacher. Okay, if you want, good. Uh, Hi, Eric. How was it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot for experience, and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. Everything was fine, right? Well, he was so many late. And we left very late. Okay. Thank you. Any question about the word? Yes, teacher, repeat please. Um, the second talk, Eric. The knowledge, knowledge, I don't know. How do you pronounce? Okay, I'm going to read. Okay, the second Eric it was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. He, he was very, very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Can you hit it in the right way? Knowledgeable. 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 He provide example of the topic he talk about. Yes, he did, and, and he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was so many late, and we left very late. Okay. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna consulta, duda, pregunta? Let's do it now. Teacher, ¿qué significa esa palabra? Which one? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. No, no, no. No, <ríe> me muerdo la lengua y no lo... Recuerde que viene de... Esa palabra viene de no. El verbo es no. Conocimiento. Sí, la siguiente ya sería knowledge. Y después ya tiene... Eh, ahí en este caso sería... 
eh, existen sufijos y prefijos. En este caso, si desglosamos esa palabra, let me, let me see if I can show you something here before to explain them in Spanish. Where I can. Okay, let me here. This is a pair. And now I need the color. And this one is now. That means that we have uh, three different, we can have three different words. And, and with a uh, related meaning. Now is saber, conocer. Knowledge, conocimiento. Y in this case, what is the meaning? Muy conocedor, muy experimentado. That could be the meaning. Muy sabio, incluso. Pero say wise, we can say in that word. Knowledge for. Okay, is that clear? Thank you, teachers. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? Okay, who wants to read it? I need that you read it with the help of somebody. Who wants to do it? Maybe. Or do you want me to read it again? Mm, me and okay. Linda, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Ari. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we, and we left very late. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to try. Yeah. Hello. Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Before we go to break up run and practice pattern. Nadie. No. Thank you, Joe. Do it, sir. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. 
You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Some good. So, uh, so everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay. Thank you, sir. No question so far from here? Okay, let's go to the breakout room. Also the number that we have now in one group is going to be three. So please try to help each other. Try to do it.
Okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to practice? Don Narciso. Come on. Come on, Don Narciso. Uh, hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Miss Lewis. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was on Munich late and we left very late. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Next, please. Maria Julia. Hello, Marlene. Okay. Hi, Maria. How is it going? Hello, Miss Rivera. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. 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 Of the transcript. Did okay, continue. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. He used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, somebody else. Christina. Ready. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewin. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did I provide a sample of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minute late and we left very late. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Maria? Yeah. 
let me see if, uh, if you can see how to pronounce the word. Something like that. Read it, please. The letter in, in, in red. Hello. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. You can write it down if you're not. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay. Karen? Hi. Hi, Eric. How is going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples in the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Remember that in this conversation, uh, they are talking about past activities. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. He was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic? He talked about, yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Everything was fine. He was some minutes late. As you can see, we are talking about the simple puzzles there B, but also we are using an auxiliary Okay, somebody else, somebody else. Una pareja más. Hello. Eh, mi teacher, pero voy sola, no tengo pareja. Okay, hold on, hold on. Espérese. Somebody that wants to help her? Alguien que quiera ayudarle? Anansi? Mi teacher. teacher. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Ana. Uh, Juan Carlos. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, hi, Eric. How is it is going? Yes, okay. Hi, Eric. 
Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am John Spy. Thank asking. You're, you're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And using a computer example. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? He was some minutes later and he left very late. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm going to share it again and I need to read it. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Listen, how is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was ex excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. Had a lot of experience. You can say in that way. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Listen, he talked about. Remember that the L, the letter L is silent. La L is muda. He talked about. Yes, he did, and he used. He used a computer to provide ex examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine. Everything, everything was fine. And even sometimes that word you can listen that like everything. Some people say that everything was fine, but. According to the phonetic, it is everything. Well, it was, uh, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más desea leerlo? No? Or yes? All depend on you. De usted depende. If you want to practice. El silencio nos invade. And that is not good. Because you need to practice. Well, I don't see it. Somebody else who wants to do it.
Any questions so far from here? No question, teacher. No question, no question, okay. Uh, what about the rest that... Uh, that they haven't participated. Será que tienen dudas? Por eso no han participado. ¿O qué es lo que está pasando? What's going on? Tell me. Los micrófonos no le funcionan. I don't know. What can I tell you? Well. Eh, Ana del Carmen quiere que pasar. Ah, Ana del Carmen, sí, eh, Ana del Carmen. Sí. Quería hacerlo desde el inicio, pero no. Sí. Mítame ahorita, 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 ahorita. Okay, Allá okay. va. La busca, ok. Hi, Edith. How are you going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thank for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide, provide examples on the topics he thought about? Yes, he did. And he used computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Thank you. Welcome. Everything, everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> you need to put the, your, the tip of your tongue in the, between the upper and the lower teeth. Tiene que poner la punta de su lengua entre los dientes y de ahí pronunciar, producir el sonido everything, everything, everything. Everything. Everything, everything. Everything. Yes, es Thank como, you, teacher. Como un sonido Z, así, everything. Cuando ya tenga más práctica, ya no va a ser necesario eh, hacer tan específico el sonido, porque al final después lo va a oír como everything. But, but all depends on the level. But right now, you need to learn it in the right way. Everything. Okay. Bueno, dejo constancia que les he dado oportunidad de que practiquen todos. Y en otras clases algunos estudiantes se quejan y dicen, no, es que el facilitador no me deja que participe, solo los mismos. Y aquí yo todas las clases participe, participe, participe. Why? Because I know that it, it is in that way that you are going to improve. But if you don't do it here, si no lo hace acá en, durante la clase, it, it is going to be difficult for you to improve it. Usted tiene que lanzarse porque... Si alguien quiere aprender a nadar, 
tiene que lanzarse al agua. And the same happened here. Ya a este nivel ya no debe de estar usted diciendo, no, es que me da pena, es que algo van a decir de mí. Olvidémonos de eso ya. Y hacia adelante. Es ahora o nunca. Okay. I don't see any hand up. No veo ninguna mano arriba, entonces nadie más quiere. Teacher. Se lo perdieron. Teacher. Rafael. Por ahí veo a Karencita Martínez. Ah, Karencita. Ah, oh, yes. Karen Yesenia. Ok, me gusta, me gusta que entre ustedes motiven a sus compañeros, porque lo que les hace falta solo es un empujoncito para que ellos vayan hacia adelante. A mí a veces me da así como que me quedo pensando y digo, si los llamo por nombres, ¿será mm. que alguno se moleste y dice, ay, solo a mí me dice? Porque hay quien que sí se molesta, pero el objetivo es ah, para ayudarle, el que más participa, yo admiro a muchos de ustedes, eh, a la niña Ana del Carmen, ella siempre está presta, eh, Linda Ivette, don, don, eh, el señor Cardona siempre, algunas veces me anda ahí apagadito, pero, pero generalmente él siempre está presto. Eh, Cristina bueno, tantos nombres ya me van a molestar y me van a decir ¿y mi nombre por qué no lo dijo? tendría que comenzar a, a mencionarlo casi en un 90% all of you participate pero hay algunos que no sé, no sé, quiero descubrir what's going on remember that we are at the end, this is the last week only Only left today. Solo nos quedan dos días ya. Ok, Karen. Do it, Karen. Se terminó el sermón del mundo. No es. <laughs> Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide samples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you to all, to all of you. Okay, let me see the attendance now, because it is time. Veamos la asistencia de este día. I'm sorry for the sermon, but I had to do it. Gracias por tomar su tiempo y, y darlo, teacher. Para eso estamos. Y fíjese que la mayor satisfacción de, de un docente, de un profesor, como se le quiera decir, es ver en sus estudiantes que alcance los, los objetivos que uno se ha propuesto. Entonces, y el objetivo... Eh, de la empresa, de nosotros como facilitadores, es ayudarles a desarrollar el idioma. Pero a veces yo siento que, bueno, no sé, ¿será que soy demasiado exigente? Eh, o no sé, pues, cómo lo puedan tomar, pero a mí me gusta siempre estar ahí, participe, participe, participe. ¿Por qué? Porque he descubierto que esa es la manera 
a través de la cual nosotros podemos desarrollar el idioma. Sí aprendemos oyendo, pero para eso hay otros momentos para oír música. Eh, cuando estoy viendo la televisión puedo aprender alguna palabra. Pero ya acá, enfrente de los compañeros, tenemos la oportunidad de vencer todo eso que nos detiene. Y de eso se trata. Para cuando ya estén en otro nivel van a decir... Sí aprendimos, porque las bases están aquí, en estos niveles. Aquí están las bases. Para cuando ya lleguen al siguiente, a, van a sacar toda la artillería que ya llevan de acá y van a decir, ah, esto se resuelve de este modo. Está bien, Ticho. En lo personal le agradezco mucho. Cuando vean algo otro tema relacionado van a decir, ah, estuvimos viendo este tema. Lo repetimos un montón de veces. Ah, bueno, entonces demuestre que sí lo vimos. Ana Cristina. O Ana del Carmen. Present, present teacher. Se me durmieron. Ángel. Present. present teacher. Ok. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Fátima. Fátima. Present. Ahí está. Vale. Si ustedes dicen, no, no está, sí está. Giovanni. Present teacher. Person. 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 Juan Carlos. Present. Eh, Karen Yesenia. Present. Tina. Present. Linda. Present. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Nancy. Norm. Present, teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Sulein. Okay, I'm sorry. My neighbor have a big dogs and they are barking. Okay, let us continue. Yeah, I'm sorry for los pets de mi vecino que están haciendo. Teacher present. Hello. Ah, estaba... Se desconectó en el momento. Te iba a decir present. Nancy, Nancy. Sorry. Ok, Nancy. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay, we have some questions to talk about it. And you are going to discuss in pairs. And we have three questions. What kind of event did Edith attend? The second one, what did the speaker use to provide examples? What did that? speaker used to provide example. And number three, what did Eric not like about the event? Okay. To discuss with somebody else, to create the rooms again, And let us talk about it. Do it now, please.
Okay. One can read the question and somebody else can answer. Let us do it now. Okay, Fatima. Number okay. one. Okay. Okay. Norma will uh, answer the question and I will ask the question. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. Just wait a minute. Okay, Norma. What kind of event did Eric attend? He was a training. What did he? What did the speaker use to provide examples? He used a computer. What did Eric not like about the event? Uh, uh, he was on minutes late and they left very late. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay, remember uh, following. For example, well, oh, in the three question, we have the word did. What kind of event did Eric attend? And when you are going to give the answer, well, all depend. You can use the verb in simple pass. In this case, the third one, how do you say it in simple pass? He liked. He? He liked. No, but, but, but see the question. What kind of event did Eric attend? Yeah, teacher, I don't know. Excuse me? He was, teacher. He? He was. Hmm. Be careful, be careful. Is the verb attempt? <laughs> what kind of event did Eric attend? Teacher, to he say? went to a training. See, but you can tell me in another way. He was. No. He attended ah, the training. Okay, bingo. He attended the training. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. He, and you are going to use the, the verb, he attended. Okay. What about the second one? He used a computer. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember that you need to be very, very careful about it. Or in this case, if you don't want to say it in that way, you can say, Eric had to attend a training. Eric tuvo que recibir una capacitación. Eric had to attend a training. And the second one, you can say the speaker used his computer to present examples. And the third one, how do you say it? What is the answer? Uh, 
Hello? Eric didn't like the fact that the presenter arrived late and they had to leave late too. Is that clear? He didn't like. He didn't, he didn't like. He didn't like. Yes. Any question? Any question? Preguntas. Hemos estado hablando de algunos pasados del B, por ejemplo, was, where. In this case, we are including the use of B to talk about the past. And I want to be sure that you have clear everything about this topic, okay? Okay, in order to continue, we are going to study the use of simple past, yes, no question, to get information on past situations. And how we are going to do this? We have to structure, we are going to use deal. Then we need to have a subject, a verb, and a complement, and the question. Mark at the end. For example, did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did, or no, he didn't. Did the listener ask question? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay, study, study all the information, please. Lean cuidadosamente esa información. Y alguna duda, pueden hacerla. Question? No? No, teacher, no, no question. Ah, ok. Si ustedes no tienen, yo sí tengo. Ok. Una para cada uno. <laughs> ok, ok. Ok, let's do it. Ok, first. Uh, yeah, first we are going to see this information that I have here, talking about, about the simple past tense. And it said that we use the simple past tense to talk about things that happened in the past. The simple past tense, is, it is also, it's also used to talk about things that happen in stories. For example, I can say that the, the weekend gave a snow white. A poison apple. Do you know the name of the story? 
Yes. No. Oh, yes. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Blanca Nieves. Confused. Huh? Blanca Nieves, right? Snow White. Yeah, Snow White. Ajá, uh -huh. ya se les olvidaron. Pinocho Snow grew longer every time he told a lie. Too long time. You remember? What's uh, the Pinocho's father name? Who remember? Yes, Gepetto. Gepetto, ahí está. Okay, as you can see, uh, we use the single pass here. But let's go forward. Okay, we have a problem here because I'm going to mention your name and you are going to create a question. In the first sentence, okay, uh, Marlene, do you want to read the first sentence, please? Okay, I bought a new camera last week. Okay, now you are going to tell me a name of one of your classmates. Uh, Angel Narciso. Okay, Mr. Cardona. Could you create a question based on that sentence? ¿Podría usted hacer una pregunta basado en esa oración? El boja para mí. Camera last new week. Not so. I could help you. Uh -huh. Um, maybe did you buy a new camera? No. Yes, but in this case, we, we are going to respect the personal pronoun that I have, that we have um, here. And how you are going to say? Did I? Did I? But I buy. Ah, um, did, did I? Did I buy, buy a new camera last week? Uh huh. Okay. Is that clear, Angel? Not no. clear. Not clear. Not clear. Uh -huh. okay. When we have this kind of verb, cuando tenemos estas clases de verbos que no son eh, forma del verbo be, entonces vamos a hacer uso de un auxiliar llamado did. Vamos a usar el did al inicio. Y luego ya el verbo que tenemos en pasado pasaría a estar en infinitivo, es decir, en presente. Entonces va a decir, did I buy a new camera last week? ¿Sí? ¿Se comprende o no se comprende? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mr. Cardona, what about you? Mm, no, teacher. Tal vez si escribe la pregunta para que se... I'm going to write it down. Let me see if I can do it here. Okay. I'm going to do it here. Thank you. 
Okay, we are going to start the question with did. Eso va a ser mandatorio, sí. Luego veo el pronombre que tengo aquí. Did I. Ahora debo de escribir el presente de este verbo. ¿Cuál es? Bye. Bye. Oops. Did I buy? Y luego escribo todo lo que ya tengo aquí. Si comprendió estos tres pasos, me ha entendido. Y el resto también. Es como usar do you o el do en pregunta, pero en pasado, ¿verdad? Así es. Y vamos a usar el did para todos. Ahora, ¿por qué escribo by aquí, don Ángel? Es el verbo presente. Sí, porque ya tengo el auxiliar did que me va a hacer, aunque él esté escrito, no puedo tener did y escribir bo otra vez. No se puede. Ya por regla gramatical, si voy a usar un auxiliar, entonces ya el verbo no tiene inflection, tengo que escribirlo tal cual. Sí. Pero la respuesta sí tiene que ser el verbo pasado, ¿verdad, Ticha? Mm. All depend. Because if I ask the question, did I buy a new camera last week? <laughs> yes, I did. No, I didn't. Esto es como si, si hago una pregunta usando. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Sí. Pero alguien podría decir, alguien podría decir, uh, si, si alguien le hace la pregunta, Do you speak English? Yes, I speak English. Pero gramaticalmente sabemos que lo correcto es. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Easy. ¿Estamos claros, don Ángel? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. What about the second one? You learn to play the guitar very quickly. Who wants to create a question? Yeah, yeah. Sí, Joe learn. To play the guitar. Ok. The Did you learn to play the guitar? The third one, we drove to the safari park last weekend. Did we drive to the safari park last weekend? Jajan Panda gave birth to a cook last night. How is going to be the question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta ahí? Did the giant panda give birth to a cub last night? The giant panda gave birth up last night. The, the, the question had to be in, you are going to put, uh, did the giant panda give First, to a cup last night. Do you know what is the meaning of this word cup? No. No, teacher. No. Es un cachorrito. Oh. Es un cachorrito. Podría ser un diminutivo, un osito. 
Aprendanse esas palabritas que son importantes. What about this one? Yesterday, dad took me to the carnival. Did dad take me to the carnival? Yesterday? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, if you want, you can make an, uh, an, a screenshot and then you practice. Do it, do it now, do it now. Did yesterday the take me to the carnival? Okay, and let us make a little review of what was in where. But I forgot to erase. Let me erase this. Right. Okay. The verb was and where are also form of the verb be. Was is a simple past tense of am and is. Just was with the, the pronouns I, he, she, and it, and with singular nouns. And we have some example. Edison was a famous inventor. Robin was a German composer. Sue was at the library this morning. If I ask you to create a question about these sentences, you consider that you can do it? Who wants to do to create the problem? Was Beethoven a German composer? Was Beethoven a German German composer? Okay, right. The second one, somebody else? Remember, this is a review. Was Sue at the library this morning? Was Sue at the library this morning? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Okay, let us continue. Also, the time, something else. We are going to work on exercise number five. Right here. Wait, here we go. Write simple past question using the verb and pronouns in parentheses. As soon as you finish, you are going to work in pairs. You take turn asking the question to you, your classmate. You meet your boss yesterday. She attend the Yuli conference. 
they stay in the meeting last night. He passed. Tess, you have fun at the Christmas party. It starts on time. They leave early. They arrive on time. The conference. Okay. Everyone is going to work now, please. And then we are going to check it. As soon as you do that, we're going to ask the questions. Let us work. A trabajar. Ahí vamos a aplicar lo que le expliqué, don Ángel. You are going to apply it.
Any question? No teacher. Okay. okay. You finish? No, yet? Almost? Yeah. Finish it. Finish. Finish. Okay. What about the rest? Me too, teacher. Finish. Okay. No yet, teacher. No yet? No yet. Okay. Norma, what about you? I finished, teacher. Okay. Raquel, you did? Just tell me yes or no. Maria Juli? I finished. Harrison, Christina, yeah. Karina, no teacher, not yet Karina, no, really, yes, ah, okay, Anna, Del Carmen, yes, ah, okay, Linda. Yes, teacher. 
The dog is barking. He's angry. Okay, again, no mention eh. Rafael, I don't see Rafael Juan Carlos. And let me see. Harrison. Hay algunos que se me pierden ahí. Okay, before you finish, let me see. Veamos para el día de hoy le corresponde a. Let me see first. Déjenme ver primero en la asistencia si está o no está. Sorry, teacher, did you take the attendance? The second one? Uh, the last one? No, no, not yet. Ah, okay. No, not yet. No, todavía no. Todavía no es hora. Uh-huh, it's there. Okay, ahora le corresponde a Fatima del Carmen. Are you there, Fatima? Yes, I am. Okay, are you, are you going? It is possible? That yes, okay. okay, thank you. I do really appreciate that. Okay, uh, let us see what you have. Who wants to read the first one? The first question, who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Do it. Did you meet your boss yesterday? That's and correct. The answer, yes, I did. That's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number two. Did she attend the July conference? Excellent. Number three. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Excellent. Number four. Did he pass the test? Number five. Did you have fun on the Christmas party? Okay. Number six. Did it start on time? Number seven. Did they leave early? Okay, and the last one, number eight. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Bingo, Mr. Cardona. Okay, me alegra que todos hayan respondido de la mejor manera. Eso implica que sí comprendieron cómo se usa. Me voy tranquilo pensando en que sí. Aprendió esa parte. Ok. Now it is time to check up the attendance. Miren qué bonito cuando todos participan así bien rapidito. Se dan cuenta. Por eso les he venido diciendo. En, en son de broma les he venido diciendo de ustedes depende. Y es cierto. De ustedes depende.
Ok, Ana Cristina. Teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present, teacher. Ángel. Present. Cristina. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni. Giovanni. Person. Carlos. Present. Karen. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present. Maria. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Raquel. Present teacher. Shulay. Y todavía me quedan dos minutos para... I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Of course, I know that it's in English. Eh, Supongo que a estas alturas ya les llegó su correo donde van las instrucciones de cómo llenar la encuesta del día viernes. Sí. ¿Todos la, ¿todos la revisaron ya? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. Uh, you already know all the steps that we need to follow, that we have to do it together with the facilitator. La sugerencia es que la vamos a hacer juntos. El día viernes no quiero que nadie se me vaya a adelantar a hacerla y me va a decir, no, ya la mandé. Para eso hay un espacio, hay un tiempo. Entonces les pido de favor, acuérdense que si ustedes lo hacen antes, eh, ese reporte ahí va a aparecer, que no siguió las instrucciones, porque todo va de esa manera. Así es que, bueno, como ya han tenido experiencias anteriores, lo que se recomienda es tener ese día de ser posible una computadora para poder ir copiando y pegando, para que no hayan errores. Pero si eso no es posible, usted sabe cómo maneja su herramienta tecnológica y buscará la mejor manera de hacerlo para que no hayan errores. Acordémonos que ya estamos a finalizar de, de este año y pues ya no nos van a dar oportunidad de poder eh, como reparar algo que no salga en la, no en la forma adecuada. Entonces... Por eso debemos de evitar eh, los errores. Así es que les pido de favorcito que para el día viernes, todavía no tengo la hora en la que se va a administrar, al no más tenerla, pues yo les voy a ir avisando, traten de no faltar. Y eh, hacemos eso de la mejor manera posible, no se toman su tiempo, despacio, para ir resolviendo cada una de las preguntas que ahí les aparece. Okay. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a eso o a alguna otra cosa, puede hacerlo. Ahorita. Teacher, no, no lo leí. No le he leído completo, le puedo hacer las preguntas mañana si las tengo. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, para eso, sí. por eso, por eso se les envía con tiempo. Y leanlo si no lo han leído. Y mañana al final podemos tener un espacio para poder aclararle. Porque lo que más me interesa es que todo se haga de la mejor manera posible. Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay, no se me vaya a ir la persona que le corresponde el uno a uno. Por, porque algunos se me han volado así, se me hacen. Que no me oyeron y se me van. 
Recuerden, recuerden que eso siempre va en el reporte. Okay. Y ustedes se lo pierden. Fatima, are you there, Fatima? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Just tell me if you have any doubts. Si tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta. De... Mm, regarding the topic of this of today, no, everything is clear. Okay. It's not difficult for me to use the past tense. And but maybe we can we can check or talk about the the second. The second homework of the de la plataforma teacher. Okay, just tell me the number of the yes, activity. The section, section one, activity two. Section one of this week. No, this is the first. Ah, oh, the third one. It, yes, the, the, the section one is the first activity that we the first the first exercise that we that we did. Okay, hold on a second. Section one, let me see here. Section one, activity two. Okay, hold on a second. Creo que en este tema me costó un poquito, dijo. Este, eh, no recuerdo, me tendría que ir al manual para ver cuál, cuál era el, el, el tema de esto. A ver, porque si siento que me costó un poco los ejercicios. Let's see. Ok. Uh, activity uh, one, number. Is the, the use of would be and could be. Ah, number two, and the exercise five. Okay, hold on. Section one, activity two, exercise exercise five. Exercise five. Yes. Could you read if you have it there? Yes. Okay. Right. Hold on. Scrum the word to four sentences. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, number four, exercise number four. Number four? I, yes. Option staff. Get. Option staff would be a weekend off to uh, have good, happy. Is that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Me quedó incorrecto, nunca lo, nunca lo logré. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Could, could you read it? One, one way you have it? Weekends of will be a good option to have a staff happy. Ah, uh -huh, I got it. Uh, you need to be careful at the end of the sentence, the order that you have. Happy stuff. You need to do this. Take a look at my put the camera, please. Okay. You need to. <laughs> let, let me check this. <laughs> You're right. Wait. Just let me know if my suggestion work or not. Yes, you are a genius. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my God, I can't believe. <laughs> really? Yeah. Estuve quebrándome la cabeza y dije yo, no, basta. Me paso todos los demás y que quede así. El único que no lo pude hacer. Ah, ok. No me daba la lógica. Sí. Pero ese eh, es por el orden. El adjective and the ah. noun. Adjective plus noun. Yes. It is like when you say uh, White House. It is the same. <laughs> Uh, I think in Spanish, that's why I... Uh, that is the problem, because it's totally different. Mm -hmm. You're right. We need to switch it. Okay. With that one, you already got 10. Yeah. 100. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay. And I don't know if you if you have any question or, or recommendation to me or... Well, well, what I would like to tell you is that um, what I've been telling to all of you, that you need to participate. I, of course, I, I know that you do it. But uh, every time that you have the opportunity to speak with somebody, it's, it's, it's really nice because in that way you are uh, improving. Because suddenly when you are speaking, you are going to maybe to look for a word y ahí se va a preguntar y de repente va a decir, ay, esta palabra, ¿cómo la digo? ¿O cuál será la que necesito? Yeah. ¿Sí? Entonces, por eso es que es muy importante tener eh, la práctica. Y como le digo, no me canso de decirles que deben de practicar, deben de practicar. Porque la práctica hacia el maestro, ese es el dicho. Entonces, entre más se practique, eh, todo será más fácil. Yes, yeah, you're right. Yes. For that reason, I invite you to continue doing it that way. Yes, yeah, thank you, Tisha. Okay. You are doing well. You. you are doing a good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much to stay with me at, at this 10 minutes, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you for your time. Oh, okay, bye-bye. Good night. Good night.